let's take a quick look at um, Marie de Macaire. And uh, I wanted to just quickly uh, touch on the political and uh, political rules and the victory conditions. And obviously this is an old game and we accept the the issues that may arise out of uh, systems that are old, that they were the, the best of their time perhaps, uh, or maybe they weren't the best of their time and it was just a popular a series. And this is certainly the case here where this is, was a very popular series and everyone uh, enjoyed it and made the most of it and had, had a good time with it. Uh, that doesn't, however, excuse sloppy uh, playtesting and rulemaking for victory conditions and political elements to a game, uh, particularly a game like this. So uh, th there's obviously, and it's, I'm new to it and I'm 30 years late, no point in worrying about it. I'm not going to get bent out of shape about it. But, uh, and I've been told that, you know, the, the second version that is, you know, a whole bunch of maps and two or three times the number of counters uh, uh, fixes all these problems. I, I'm doing this chronological walkthrough uh, for fun and uh, playing with uh, 1,500 skinny counters with white backs is not my idea of fun. So... This is a great sized solution for us to experience in some way, shape, or form what ha what happened during the Balkan campaign and uh, the invasion of Greece and uh, the Italian interactions uh, with the Greeks and the Yugoslavs and all that sort of good stuff. So, uh, so we're going to make the most of it. And uh, what we're going to do with the victory point conditions is uh, at the point that the Italian... Uh, forces either fall behind or uh, appear to be falling behind, you know, within uh, two or three points of the Greeks, uh, we're going to allow the Germans to come in uh, and enter the war or intervene in the war in the next clear turn that uh, occurs. And that is now February, the, uh, the second February turn uh, of uh, 1941. And so we've got the Germans set up. Uh, there's the here they are in Bulgaria, and there's the, the Greek situation uh, over there. The Greeks actually pulled back a little bit. Uh, you know, I was starting to do this gamey thing where they didn't want to get too many VPs, and so we, we, put, we, we stopped that. And we'll, we'll talk about that at some other point. Uh, I've got the Hungarians uh, set up, and they have uh, specific conditions. They really are only going to uh, operate in this little zone here. It's too... Two funky names uh, of those areas that uh, I don't think it has it here on the board. Unfortunately, I can tell you what it is. But basically, if they capture Beograd, uh, the Hungarians are done, and they're, they're only going to operate inside Hungary and inside this little territorial area that they wanted to recapture. Uh, now, what is interesting is that every unit that's adjacent to an Axis unit uh, from the Yugoslavian side has to roll a die. And if they roll uh, either a five or a six, I think it is, or a six, uh, I think it's a six in this town. But a, f a five or a six, in the f uh, whenever they're adjacent to an Axis unit uh, during the invasion turn, then uh, they are removed from the board. And it's the trying to reflect the unwillingness to fight of the Yugoslavs. So, and the political issues that uh, are in the area. So that's an interesting little uh, little take on things. So we want to try and have as many units as possible adjacent to guys so that we can get as many rolls as possible. And in fact, we'll probably uh, push some of these guys up. Well, it's during the turn anyway, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, and, I, and you want to look at the map. There's uh, some, we, we want to try and knock out the Yugoslavs as quick as we can. And so we have to capture a handful of towns, you know, uh, this guy and this guy here, up here. In the mountains, uh, there's a something over here. This guy, I think, and uh, this chappy to the left there, just here. So it, you know, it's a bit of a tall order to try and make it all happen in turn one, uh, but it'll only take it two or three turns, I think, given the weakness of the Yugoslav army. We'll see what happens. But I also want to try and force as much push as much force uh, here into Greece and uh, knock this game on its hind quarters and knock the Greek out of the battle before uh, 